Hi everyone, it's Vlasa from MemGraph and today I would like to show you new features of MemGraph uh, 2.5. MemGraph Lab is MemGraph's uh, visual user interface which allows you to query and explore your data. So here I ran a little query and if you were a user of MemGraph Lab before, that you probably know that you can vertically or horizontally split your screen. In this uh, other view, you can, for example, see your history, your query history. What you couldn't do before is uh, have two query executions view, execution views side by side. And MemGraph, 2, MemGraph Lab 2.5 now allows you to do that. So if I were to choose one query for my query history, I can decide if I want to run it in the view on the left or if I want to run it in this current view. So let's run it in the current view. What this allows me uh, is to uh, compare my results or the execution time. I'm going to close it for now. And I'm going to add another query here. Um, if I run this, only the second query, I, I will get the results of the second query only. But what if I want to see the results of the first query? Now, again, you don't have to comment out the second query at all. The new MemGraph lab allows you to select the query you want to execute and then click Run Selected, uh, which saves up time for if you have a lot of queries in the Cypher editor. What we also added is uh, a scenario in which you want to return a lot of uh, nodes or relationships, so more than 3,500 nodes or more than 8,500 relationships, we added a little prompt that asks you to confirm if you want to render uh, the graph results because they could take a little bit of time. If you don't want to wait for them, the data results are already here, so you can go check them out right away. If this is a query you ran a lot, you run a lot, you probably want to save it in your uh, query collection. This is not something new, this is something we already have. So you go on the right side here and click on the add to the collection. And for example, I can give this uh, query name, uh, sorry, parks per state name and add it to the USA National Park Query Collection. And this allows me to access my query from here and to run it. What would happen before is if you made some changes uh, to the query itself, the changes would not be saved unless you explicitly said that you want to change them. So from this new version of MemGraph Lab, from now on, you can, uh, for example, delete this part uh, of the query, run it, and the changes will be automatically saved. So you don't have to worry about losing any changes. We also wanted to help you navigate uh, query modules a little bit. So if you want a procedure from a query module that has uh, a lot of them, uh, we've added a search box. So Network X integration has a lot of uh, procedures and I just want to run between a centrality. So here it is. I only write uh, its the few, first few characters of its name and the list gets narrowed down. Another feature we added is the notification sections where we will inform you about uh, any new releases of MemGraph products. For example, MemGraph DB, uh, Mage, our graph uh, library, or graph algorithm al library, or GQL Alchemy, which is a Python library that allows you to write Python code instead of uh, Cypher. So that's it for MemGraph uh, Lab 2.5, and I'll see you around on Discord. If you want to know more, visit our website, memgraph.com, especially our docs, which is slash docs, where you can see all the change logs and read about MemGraph in detail. So till next time, bye.